And speaking of water, we haven't had a lot of water. Gosh, in the month of May, we saw 65 hundredths of an inch of rain. We should be almost looking at two inches of rain in May, not even close. The most rain we got was on the 23rd. That was about 50 one hundredths. But so far in June, we have only had just a trace. That is not good. We are at June 7th and there is no rain on the horizon. We're looking out there. We can see, okay, there's a little bit of snow on the mountaintops, but otherwise it's just kind of a little hazy and very hot once again. We're at 81 degrees with a tiny little front that's kind of camped out just to the south of the Great Salt Lake. That will dissipate, really didn't do anything. We've got a northwest breeze, so I'm thinking that's probably what that is. But overall, temperatures will go from the 80s to the 90s once again. We're going to see temperatures climbing throughout the day today. So another day where temperatures are about 10 degrees above normal. If you want to escape, you head up to the mountains. The snow is melting really fast. I'm pretty sure that Alta doesn't have their summer road open, but I'll tell you, Normally it's the 4th of July. I'm thinking maybe even a little bit earlier, but you're going to want to check on that. It's always pretty to get up there, do some hiking, and actually get out of the heat. We're in the 80s right now across the north. Cooler around Logan at 72, 77 degrees in Evanston. Already in the 90s in St. George with some high clouds and a lot of wind now. These are wind gusts around Cedar City up through Milford. The winds have been the issue because it's so dry. It is so dry. The grasses are super dry. We've got the strong winds. The temperatures are hot. So we've got these fire weather warnings that continue. Red flag warnings through tomorrow evening with southwest winds could be gusting in excess of 40 miles an hour. Then we're going to kick that up on Wednesday because we've got a strong cold front that's going to approach. Once that happens, we're really going to see some gusty winds. And our high pressure that was over us over the weekend actually has shifted off toward the east. And these temperatures up through the Midwest, that includes humidity. So you can imagine that 90 degrees, what it feels like in Rapid City. So this low is going to be a super slow mover. So we're kind of sandwiched in between. Anytime you kind of get a sandwich right in between a high and a low, you get the winds increasing. And as that starts to move in, the winds are really going to pick it up. So today we're kind of just hot. We've got the winds in the you know, 10 to 20 mile an hour range. But as we head through Wednesday, the winds are really going to kick up as that low moves in. And then once that low passes by on Thursday, temperatures are going to right here. They're going to go down about 15 degrees or so. But that is just going to last a very short period of time because we're going to kick the heat back in just in time for the weekend. So today we're going to be in the low 90s. These are not record temperatures, but they're definitely warm. 93 around St. George. Tonight we're going to see temperatures just a little bit warmer because we've got some high clouds over southern Utah, and that's going to kind of spread across the state. It's going to kind of move in, move out. No biggie. We're done. 66 in Moab for tonight. Tomorrow, southern Utah. Low 90s, then we're going to stay in the 90s. We're going to go to the 80s. How about 87 on Thursday? That is incredible for uh, St. George, really. But then here we go. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we're back to the triple digits once again. So this little cool down is very short-lived. We're going from the 90s to the mid-70s. So that's the day that you can maybe flip the windows open real quick, give your air conditioner just a little bit of a break because you're going to pop it right back on as we head into the weekend. Temperatures go back into the 90s, and unfortunately, there is no rain. I've looked in through the next couple of weeks and there's really no storms that are going to crank in here and bring us any rain, Matt.